Hey, this is Tyler, and today I'm going to show you how to disassemble and repair an HP OfficeJet H470 portable printer. I will also briefly detail the design flaw causing this problem and finish up with some troubleshooting and maintenance tips. Let's begin. The first thing to do is to remove the battery. Next, we're going to remove the paper holder tray with a flathead screwdriver by prying the retaining pin from its mating hole. Then, we need to remove the rubber screw covers. There are two on the back of the unit and two on the bottom. A T8 or Torx number 8 screwdriver is then used to remove the four screws. The same driver bit is used to remove the screws on the top of the unit. There are two in the rear near where we remove the paper feed tray. The other two are in the front under the ink cartridge lid. It helps to remove the ink cartridge and paper outfeed doors. They clamp to the outside of the unit and can be forced off on the side of the hinge with no plastic. A flathead can be used to remove the ink door if you need extra leverage. Just be careful as the plastic can easily break. The casing shell is held together by five plastic clips. A piece of music wire bent into the shape of an L works great for unclipping them. Then unhook the wire for the buttons and notification lights and you should have the top of the printer removed. The next piece to be removed is the battery holder. It is removed by pulling up on the back of the machine and is held in place by expanding plastic clips. The wire connector also needs to be unplugged connecting the battery to the unit. Be careful not to damage the wires when removing the back plate. To remove the mechanism from the bottom plastic, use your fingers to pry all around the unit and slowly wiggle until it comes free. Now is a good time to turn all of the gears to see which ones control which mechanisms. This printer is an incredibly complex machine and it is amazing it all fits in such a small package. The culprit to our problem is a tiny gear that belongs behind here. The gear is positioned upside down on the motor shaft and spins so fast that over time gravity works the gear off of the shaft. This motor controls the up and down movement of the caps that protect your ink heads when you turn the machine off. When the gear falls off, the caps get stuck in position and the ink cartridges can no longer move back and forth across a sheet of paper. The best way to gain access to the motor shaft is to take a Dremel and remove enough material to be able to get a hemostat with the gear in it into the space. A small, of a small amount of super glue or Loctite can be used in the center of the gear to help keep it in place on the motor shaft. Once you have the gear back in place, let the adhesive use ample time to cure. After that amount of time has elapsed, test your unit to be sure that it functions correctly before reassembly. Reassembly is the opposite of disassembly. Make sure to go slow and take your time to keep from missing steps and ensuring everything goes together correctly. Now for some troubleshooting and routine maintenance tips. If when you open the ink cartridge door and the black and color ink cartridges don't center in the recess on the bottom housing, something is not right. Unplug the battery from the machine and use your finger to push the cartridge tray all the way to the right. Then close the door and turn the machine back on. The cartridges should now be centered in the recess when you open the door. Another tip, when you turn the machine off, you shouldn't be able to move the cartridge tray back and forth. The gearing system that we fixed should be holding it in place. Always be sure this is true when storing and transporting your printer. 
I hope this fixes your printer problem and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other videos.